and gentlemen, are you ready for some more masked martial arts action? Our first fight of the day features the favorites for the title. It's the Invincibles, starring none other than reigning champion, Vince Vanquish! They'll be facing off against hometown hotties, Cinderella and Wambolina, a.k.a. the BT Queens! <laughs> I'm Cinderella. And I'm Wambolina. Hello, boys. Seems the girls have brought their fan club along. Something tells me this is going to be about to remember. Don't let the pretty pretty act fool you. They made it this far. That means they can fight. On your marks. Get set. Fight! That's it! It's all over! The Invincibles have done it again! Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're into the semifinals, and here come our first challengers. Give them a big hand now, 
It's the Invincibles! They'll be taking on a pair of dashing dark horses who surprised us all with their flair for ferocity. It's Golden Boy and Sterling Silva, a.k.a. The Bullion Boys! Yoo-hoo! Look out below! Huh? <laughs> At last, foul villain. I had hoped you would survive long enough to suffer at my hands. <laughs> now, time to lie back and let the great Silv... <laughs> I mean, the magnificent Sterling Silva show you which of us is the better once and for all. Uh, so you guys know each other? Ha! Know each other? None can know the true identity of Sterling Silva and live. Nor that of his faithful sidekick, Golden Boy. The Bullion Boy's real names will go with them to their graves. Huh. These guys sure know how to put on a show. No, this fiends. We will not be holding back. Our onslaught will be merciless and swift. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> Just my little pre-fight ritual. All right, let's do this. Looks like our fighters are ready to rumble, folks. That's enough, I'm calling this one. The Bullion Boys have been beaten! 
Mitte! Curses! The great Silva... Um, uh, Sterling Silva defeated! But I feel no shame in losing to one such as you. It was a battle of epic and legendary proportions, and I thank you for it. Good luck in the final, darling. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the showdown you've all been waiting for. The grand final of the Masked Martial Arts Tournament! That's right. Just two teams remain. Invincibles, if you please! They're hot favorites, folks, but will our hometown hero be able to retain his crown? Or will surprise newcomers Rab and Jade snatch glory from the reigning champ? Will the princess and the pudding please take to the stage? Yes, it's the girl who moves like lightning and the old guy who doesn't move at all! Will they be making history here today? It's time to find out! Something about these two gives me the willies. But we got this. Time for a little good luck boost. Did you see that? I did. Oh, yeah! Let's do this. Let's win this thing. <clears throat> All right, laddie. Show us what you've got. This is it, folks. One last time now.
Time to get back in the game. You're napping, old man. You too? What's with everybody all of a sudden? You're up, partner. Vanquish has done it again! Stick around for the award ceremony, folks! We did it, man! We won! It wasn't easy, though, huh? That was the toughest tournament yet. Thanks for seeing it through with me, partner. Hey, the grand prize is something called the Rainbow. Where it is, it's worth a bunch of dough. How about we sell it and split the... It's me, Rab. I need a wee word with you. Can I come in? Just you in here, eh, laddie? I was hoping to speak to your pals, too. Could you ask them to join us? It's Jade. The lassie I was fighting with in the tournament. She's missing. I've looked all over town, but she's nowhere to be found. I can't help but worry she's got herself caught up in something. Will you help an old man look for his wee friend? You're a star. With yourself and your pals here to help, I'm sure we'll find her in no time. Right. The last place anyone saw her was over by the orphanage. Let's start there, shall we?
Another victim. Thank you. 
Hey! Brought you a fresh one! who's behind it all. Sir Hendrik must have missed one when he cleared the monsters out of town all those years ago. <sighs> Nicely done, lassie. I hope you'll forgive me, but we had a wee rummage around in your room, Vince. The liquid I found. And that's what you drink before your fights, isn't it? That... that was you? <laughs> Perhaps not all humans are as stupid as our muscle-bound friend here. Hendrix scarred me, but he did not kill me. The extract. It was the only way to regain my strength. And why would he help me do such a thing, you ask? Because I offered to share the fruits of my labor. Who could refuse such a juicy offer? Hmm? <laughs> I couldn't keep on winning forever. And if I wasn't winning, I wasn't bringing in the money we needed for the orphanage. Sorry, partner, but I can't let those kids down. Which means... I can't let you and your friends leave. Come on. Not now. Oh, will you look at yourself, laddie? Do you not see what that stuff's doing to you? That foul fluid wasn't it meant for human consumption. It's eating you from the inside out. Uh, uh, man, uh, I guess cheaters never prosper, huh? Spent at last, old friend. Such a shame. Then I suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. Keep that thing busy. I'll see if I can get those people down. Summer. 
Oh, yeah. I just keep getting better. And don't come back. I... I had no choice. A third-rate fighter like me? I was never gonna make enough dough to keep the place open. So when I heard that voice... Drifting up from down here... Right beneath the orphanage... I... I listened. All I had to do was help him out, and he'd make me the toughest fighter around. So I said sure. I wanted to win the tournament so bad, needed that money so bad, I let him use me. I knew it was wrong. But that orphanage, man, that's where I was raised. Those kids are my family. <laughs> So you let your desire to help the Bairns get the better of you. Well, there's certainly been greater evils done for less good. Tell you what, I'll have a word or two with the Mayor. Don't worry, lad. We'll make sure the orphanage is looked after. So chin up, eh? Just don't let me catch you making deals with nasty beasts again. You hear? Sir, I... I don't know what to say. Wakey, wakey, little soldier. Come on now, time to get up. I said, wake up! Morning, darling! Hate to drag you out of bed, but we need to head up to the arena. That prize they never got around to giving you? Well, they want to hand it over. If you're looking for me, I'll be in the cheap seats. Don't forget to give me a wave. <laughs>